Hi, this is Alvaro with the channel Uniquely Mary, and so I'm doing a kind of handheld vlogging video in this series while I am in Turkey. And I want to share from this video, uh, this magazine called The Immaculata, which is a print from the Militia Immaculata, an organization started by St. Maximilian Kolbe. So when I was in Chicago a few months back, they had this issue on Ephesus. Well, it was in my heart to come eventually to Turkey and then to Ephesus. About a year ago, my wife and I, we bought tickets to go, but because of COVID, we had to cancel. And then we got vouchers and we were able to come just recently, and that's where I am right now. So currently I'm in Gulasi Park in the heart of Istanbul, and it is really beautiful. I'll be kind of panning so you can see it. So this first video is gonna be about St. Anthony and his witness to the Assumption of Mary, because Turkey is the land where she assumed into heaven. And I wanna connect it into the faith of the Muslim people and bringing their conversion to the Catholic faith. So as you know, in the Catholic faith, we are called to bring people to Jesus Christ. We are called to share that treasure, not to keep it for ourselves. Well, with the Muslim people, we have had the most difficult time throughout the centuries. We have not found a magic bullet or a silver bullet that converts them. And often they have taken away lands and they have kind of come over and grown and grown where the Christian faith is often diminished. And so often in my heart, I've wondered, how do we bring these people to Christ? What is the answer? And I think in their very old land, we have this answer. The answer is the Blessed Mother. She alone, as St. Maximilian Kolbe says, can destroy all heresies, can really convert the heretics and bring them to Jesus Christ. St. Anthony of Pada was, was born on August 15th in the 1100s in Portugal. He eventually joined the Franciscans after he left the Augustinians because he saw the martyrdom of some Franciscans in Morocco. And because of that witness, he decided to join the Franciscan religious order. He was a saint that greatly loved the Blessed Mother, but like many saints, there was particular aspects of the Blessed Mother that he really loved. His favorite teaching and church teaching was that of the Assumption. However, at the time of his teaching and of his living, that wasn't a defined dogma in the church. It was a strongly held belief, it was part of the tradition, but it was not something that the church had defined until 1954. So it took a while for them to get there. Well, there's a story about how, you know, he was so in love with, the, with that teaching of the Assumption, he really honored that as one of the teachings of the Blessed Mother. And on this one feast of the Assumption, he just didn't want to go to Mass because he was sort of tired and, and upset that it was not a defined dogma. And in fact, sometimes when you would read different church teachings, it would say, well, the church has not wanted to define this because it's just folklore, it's just tradition, but it's not said in the scriptures or something like that. Even though he knew that it was a tradition held back to the very first disciples because it really happened. Well, according to that story, he had a vision of the Blessed Mother where she spoke to him and she said, do not worry, my son. Let me assure you that death did not corrupt my body. And in fact, three days after I died, I was assumed bodily into heaven. So he, she basically told him, yes, the belief of the church and your belief are true. So do not let the lack of it being defined stop you from going to mass. He ended up going to mass that day, celebrating that, that mass day, uh, that August 15th in her honor. Well, he preached very much on this, and he wrote a lot. And the Pope that defined the dogma of the Assumption read his writings, and after that realized, okay, we need to define this. So he really was a witness to this truth of the Assumption that even led and influenced the Pope to define it eventually as a dogma in the 20th century. Well, why is that teaching important in terms of Muslims? and their conversion. Well, first of all, Muslim people love the Blessed Mother. They see Jesus as a prophet and Mary as a sinless holy woman who is a mother's prophet. So they do honor her in the Quran. And we have several different sites where Muslims go to honor the Blessed Mother, one of them being Ephesus. Remember, in one of my previous videos, I talked about authority, how in the spiritual world, one of the things that you need is authority. You need the authority to be able to have spiritual influence over certain people, and that's why we consecrate ourselves to Mary so that she can have greater influence in our lives. One reason and one conclusion that we can draw from the assumption of Mary, body and soul into heaven is, first of all, the fact that our bodies have this nuptial or this marital aspect. We join one another in marriage and our bodies are part of that 
happening? Well, this is one of the reasons why we're going to be assumed into heaven, body and soul. Body, so that we can physically be joined to the Lord as we are in Mass, in a more profound way, in heaven. But along with that, Mary being assumed into heaven, body and soul, her body being there, gives her, in a certain sense, a spiritual and physical authority over created matter over the world, over the physical world, since she has her body in heaven, just like Jesus does. So the fact that she has this gives her an authority to have power over different areas so we can invoke Mary in heaven to have this special authority here on earth. Since Mary has this physical power and this spiritual power in heaven, we can call upon her to bring about the conversion of other people, specifically the Muslim people. So in today's video, again, I shared about how St. Anthony was a great lover of the Assumption, how he preached the Assumption throughout his life, and how this Assumption gives Mary a special power over the physical world, and we can invoke her in bringing about the converting and the conversion of the Muslim people. My friends, I hope this video was helpful. Let's pray for the conversion of all people, but in a particular way, the people of Turkey and all those who are Muslims who do not have the privilege and the honor of knowing Jesus Christ and his mother who loves us so much. God bless you and have a beautiful day.